Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa's house. Pepper is watching Granny Pig at her dressing table. Hmm, Granny, I've got a very good idea. Really? Yes. First, I need some water. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello, flowers. Who wants to be in my perfume? You ever. Lovely. Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell. Yuck. George does not like smelly flowers. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? Yeah. It's rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm. It smells interesting. <laughs> this is... Wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig. It's lovely. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of anything. What have you got there? Have you made some perfume? Actually, that smells quite nice. <laughs> than you did before. Yes, you should use perfume de muddy puddle. The children's fate. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. No! Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh dear, where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof. You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr. Fox. Mmm, this all looks very interesting. We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle. I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily. <laughs> Get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Bull. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <laughs> as fast as you can. Right. And my mummy is the winner. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Thank, Thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. The aquarium. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie. Oh. The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that me fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. One. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! Hmm. No. They are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. Okay. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Fish. Oh, Ooh. what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Wham, let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? I saw. Grr. 
George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, Joe. It's too dinosaur -y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this can? Nothing is. It's a rabbit fish. <gasps> it is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <laughs> oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the aquarium cafe. Oh, goody. Oh, oh. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. George's racing car. It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Coming up to the finish. Yeah. What a lot of noise. This is so exciting. Car number two is a must. Ah, that's better. The ra It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. <laughs> So. Racing car, Daddy. No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, okay, I'll make a racing car for George. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Peppa. Ooh. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Away! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. <laughs> George is only little. You need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? Oh, goody. I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. All this noise out here. I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two. And George is still in the lead. Okay, okay Chief Mechanic. mechanic. Go, George, go! George is the winner! Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying... Everyone is tucked up in their beds. Asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Pepper and George are awake. What's that noise? We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way? It doesn't... How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. D. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. The light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. Oh. All that loud noise has sent baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. The wishing well. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George around his garden. Here are my cabbages, broccoli and sprouts. Ooh. A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. 
Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. In the middle of my carrots? No, Peppa. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about cute? <coughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. There is a Granny Pig's gnome. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? Is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, don't tell us what you're wishing for. OK. Finished. Very good. Grandpa, you are very lucky having a wishing well in your garden. Do you think so, Peppa? Yes. You can wish for things wished for, Grandpa. What did you wish for, Peppa? I wish that I could have a wishing well and gnomes in my garden. Oh, well. Really? What did you wish for, Peppa? Lots of gnomes and a wishing well for our garden. <gasps> oh. Uh, Grandpa Pig? I suppose so. <laughs> Peppa and George love gnomes and wishing wells. Everybody loves gnomes and wishing wells. <laughs> Mr. Potato's Christmas Show. It is Christmas time, and Pepper and her playgroup are going to the theatre. Sweet Cranberry and Little Sprouts. Here are your tickets. Bind the seat with your number on it. Um, Madam Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, oh Pedro. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry. Shh. Children, everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is... Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr. Potato's Christmas Show with Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout! Boys <laughs> <laughs> and boys and girls, shout out, there's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Potato, scallops and cranberry. It's, it's a very special, special Christmas with all our friends. That was a bit quick. Wait, there's one more surprise. A very important. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello. Children, have you all been good? Oh, Merry Christmas! Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yeah! Madam Giselle's leaving party. <laughs> it is home time at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. What? Playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madam Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madam Gazelle catching us getting her pump. That's right. She played guitar with the Vocking Gazelles. Fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Go inside? 
Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside? For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And I'll see all of us. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So? Oh, Peppa. All I said was, no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! Yes! And I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music! Oh!